ChatGPT, everything you really need to know in very simple terms. I'm Bernard Ma, and I help companies understand the latest trends in business and technology so they can turn them into improved performance and profitability. For more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and my podcast, check out my articles on my website, and have a look at my books, Tech Trends in Practice, Business Trends in Practice, and Future Skills. ChatGPT puts the power of AI in the hands of everyone. And currently, anyone can use it for free. It has generated a huge buzz and has amazing capabilities, like answering pretty much any question, creating stories, writing computer code. It can even correct grammar, translate text into different languages, draft emails for you, summarize long text, and so on. My teenage daughter, who loves the musical Hamilton and is a, an, an avid songwriter, recently asked ChatGPT to write a song about a lost boy in the style of Lin-Manuel Miranda, the person who wrote Hamilton. And it came up with something really interesting. My 11-year-old son, tried it out and he got the program to write a 300 word summary of World War II in the style of, a t of, of an 11 year old boy. And my teenage son used ChatGPT to check his Python code that he was using to develop an, a web app. So it's a debugging tool. And I've been asked by so many people to do a simple explanation video on ChatGPT. So here we go. Basically, it is an advanced artificial intelligence language model that uses deep learning techniques to generate text. The interface is designed to simulate a human conversation. The model takes in a prompt, which can be a sentence, a paragraph, or even just a word, and then generates a coherent response, which can be in the form of a sentence, a paragraph, or even a full article. The chat tool is based on GPT 3.5, which is short for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is a language model that has been trained with over 175 billion parameters and about a trillion words that came from sources such as databases of the world's books, archives of the entire web, Wikipedia, and high quality links from Reddit. And it's like a machine that has read and learned from a lot of websites and books so it can answer your questions and write its own stories. What's more, it can even be customized. So you can train it with your own data and you can use API, so application programming interfaces so you can hook it to your own systems. So what can ChatGPT be used for? It can answer questions on pretty much anything. It can generate natural and engaging responses in a chatbot, a virtual environment. It can brainstorm content ideas on keywords or topics for you. It can do some creative writing, such as creating poetry or stories. It can create personalized communication, such as email responses or even product recommendations. It can translate text from one language to another, create marketing content like blog posts or social media updates. It can recap long documents by you providing the full text and asking ChatGPT to generate a shorter summary. You can use it to have chatbot generated answers in your customer service tools and you can even generate snippets of computer code or use it to help you with programming. So who created ChatGPT? OpenAI, a San Francisco-based AI and research company, launched ChatGPT in November 2022. OpenAI also created Whisper, an automatic speech recognition system, and DALI2, a popular AI image and art generator. So what's next? 
OpenAI is already working on the next version of GPT-4, which will be much more powerful. Microsoft has just announced a $10 billion investment in the company. And there are many rumors on what the next version of ChatGPT might look like. People are talking about a multimodal environment where you can interact with it using speech and where the outputs cannot just be text but audio, images, videos and so on. There will be a lot more parameters that the tool will be trained on. And for me, super exciting is the possibility of having this connected to the real-time internet. At the moment, it's using historic data. In the future, it could access real-time data to become even more relevant. So it's really important for anyone to prepare for this as this will augment so many jobs and so many business models and offers huge opportunities for organizations to augment and automate parts of their world. So for more, subscribe to my channel and connect with me on social media.